You didn't magically appear in side control. You got there because there's a breakdown of circumstances that ultimately caused you to, let's say, fail or whatever you were doing. Because it starts from probably a guard. And he's walking around. He's trying to pass. And I failed here. God. I want frames, but he did a great job securing this arm out. This is really bad news for me. So when this dangles, this is how it gets arm locked. Because even if you were just to push my arm this way, that's, that's an arm lock there, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do a near side leg raiser sweep, or a reversal, and a far side, okay? This is the near knee, because it's closest to his body. This is the far knee, depending on kind of what his body position is, okay? Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is, go back a step, a couple steps, okay? Probably by the time that we get to this position, he's, he's gonna be out. Okay, I'm playing guard, but I did a horrible job, and and, and this happened. I mean, it never happens, but you know. So, okay. so look, I'm gonna take his long GLSW lapel, and I'm just gonna push him all the way out here. Okay, look, from here, I'm gonna turn on my right hip a little bit, not flat. Okay, and I'm gonna lift my hip up. Okay and I wanna pull this through, okay? So this is basically able to be right under my knee. Your wrist should not be under your knee, okay? So we're here, okay? What I can do here is I'm gonna lift my hip up here and I'm gonna frame his hip here. I'm gonna turn on my right side and I'm gonna push him away. And I'm gonna hit him top and then I'm gonna go. And then I'm gonna go. This is the near side, arm raiser sweep. I did not come up with this, all over did. I'm just taking it from there. So I've got the side control, look. I went here, look, I already got this thing out. The nice thing about this control here is that although I don't have an underhook, this right here doesn't really help me escape, but it helps me lock my left elbow so it's harder for him to walk it away from you off, for example, if you were to this way. Look, if my hands are just here, walk your left hand forward. Look how easily you're right hand, sir. You see that right there? Now he can mount, he can trap it, and it's 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 kind of like a you know a deer away from its flock or sheep or whatever. So here, okay, walk it away. Okay, especially if I elevate my hips. Okay, to a certain degree he's kind of trapped right here. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use leg pressure. I try to do it with the arm here, but it doesn't work because I don't get enough leverage. So what I'm gonna do is pull it out, lift my hip up, and grab right here, okay? Frame that hip, okay? Rotate to your left. <laughs> Frame that hip, lift your hip up, and at an angle, I'm gonna take my heel, bend it, and I'm gonna extend it out that way. Okay? But I also know that his arm is stuck on this side of the body. So he doesn't really have much to go. So he goes here, go here, go here, and go here. Okay, his arm. What? Oh, that's him. So right here, look. Look. Feed it. Right here. Grab the hip. Or oh, I could even grab his knee right here. Hip up and extend it. Pull yourself up. And you get him in. Side Okay. So what I want you guys all to do is pull your lapels out. Okay. Push your pillow and down. Now I got the side control here. You can already start and pull that out. Over here. Okay. Okay. What he's gonna do is he's gonna put it in his right hand. Okay. He's gonna use his left foot to elevate and he's gonna bring his right knee to, to my hip. Lift your hips up. Yes, and now feed it under the knee. Yes, from here. Keep this on here, okay? And then you kind of push away, you can frame right here. From here, heel down and extend. Yeah? Let's try it. All right, so everybody pull your lapels out. Let's do it, one, two, three. But you have to go.
Yes. Nice. You'll find uh, a big uh, 